literally a fly in the wall up here. <laughs> so I get my scratch on. Oops, I fast forwarded, but it basically said that I had to keep scratching. Okay, so we got that last time. I'm going to keep my tip jar on, even though they're going to start getting impatient. I really need to save up for the matches, I believe. But, but as always, I have to lurk. Sorry, it's all right. There's no problem with lurking. Um, I just appreciate when you come by and say hello. I really do. I always appreciate when you guys say hello or like, you know, redeem something or just pop an emote in and stuff like that. Even if you're just lurking away, it just lets me know that you're there. And I think yesterday when I was feeling so terrible, I kind of, I really needed that. And I appreciate everybody that, you know, said something, redeemed something or and whatnot. I will sit up straight. I am not, I am prony in real time. Thank you, Gillan. All right, let's get this shift started. No shrimping. Yeah, no prawning. I'm trying not to. I tend to like hunch over my microphone because it's on a keyboard cover and my brain just naturally thinks because it's lower down than me that I need to get closer to it, but I know it picks me up just fine. Um, and I just need to sit up straight more. So that's, yeah. All right, so we've got, we have little fried eggs. I'm gonna guess that they're supposed to be like deviled eggs or some shit, but they're like obviously clearly mini fried eggs. We have another saucepan. Um, yeah, I'm always shrimping, not as. I think everybody that displays games are. My chair is too high for my desk. That's my problem. Um, so before my chair spindle broke and we replaced it, my chair was the perfect height for this desk and I could just sit upright and just be totally relaxed but now my chair is too high and I put a lot of strain on my shoulders to hold my arms in place for the desk and yeah I'm I'm very tall anyway so it doesn't help with that but it's a chair and it works so you know it is slowly falling apart eventually I'll have to replace it but that's a later problem but everything else in the world to have to replace all right so we've got a green pop tart for a side and we have some actual looking dessert all right I think I've got that now one thing I want to do is can I get back here oh the bell rung can I talk to you hey Vince what do you want he didn't correct me this time okay so last time I asked him if he was single and I don't actually need the answer to that because we found that out last time um, I never asked him if he could give me a raise because I was like, do you like your job? And so I'm going to do this and I have to do that. Okay. <laughs> so is that a no or? Oh, right. Yeah, that's a no. You're not getting a raise. Yeah, dude just started. It's like his first week. I get it. The job's hard, but like, you know, you agreed to this on Monday. So, uh, why do you need one anyways? Well, it's for a girl. Her name's Manon. Hello. Never spoken about this. I should have just enough by the end of the week, but just a bit more could be an ample for something really special. Interesting. You make tips. Do good at your job and you'll do good enough for whatever projects you have outside of it. Yeah, he's salty about that. <laughs> Why do you need this much money anyways? Is she really that excessive with cash? Of course not. Well, I mean, a little, yeah, but she's not prissy or anything. And she's worth it, every cent of it. She's worth all of it. And when I can show her just how much she means to me, this will all be worth it too. Wow, that's what his motivation for this is. I don't know if the boss is going to appreciate him having like, I don't know if that's considered as like a strong goal or a weak resolve. I'm not sure where that falls under. I think that's down to personal preferences of everybody and what they view it as. Like that could be a fantastic motivator if he's not naturally motivated or it could be something frivolous depending on how he normally is. <clears throat> what? Nothing. All right. 
Well, I know that the bin's empty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't asked you yet. Do you like your job? I've dedicated my life to making the bistro as successful as it is now. Yeah, but do you like it? What do you mean by that? Well, for someone who claims that they're proud owner of this restaurant, I don't think I've actually, you know, seen you cook. <laughs> what about you? Me, yeah, I mean, it pays me money. What did you want to do before this then? I doubt you wanted to wait tables for a living. Well, I, uh, I guess was studying in school for something for a bit. Oh, what were you going for there? You're definitely going to make fun of me for this if I told you. You don't need to be too worried about that. It can't be any more embarrassing than you are now. Oh man. Yeah, see that kind of talks exactly what I mean. I just love how fucking snarky they are. He never answered that. And I think that was very slightly different to what I recall it being. Yeah, let's get your table. Hurry up and get your table because you've been standing there for ages. Come on. And somebody else should walk in because I remember we kept having to lose the silver haired person. And this guy is a cunt. I remember this pair. They leave anyway. Every time. They're always cranky. Hey, table for four. Look, we'd be lucky if I get you a seat. Yeah? Fucking sit down. Yes. Jesus Christ. Give me that. Cool. Get your appetizer in ya. Get the other one. This lot should be ready to order. Yep, take their order. And let's get that on. Now, I remember this lot. This pair up here being super cranky. Always. You want a main. Well, I can't do anything about that yet. Got an appetizer. Before I run off, let's grab that. Yeah, I remember them, like, leaping. Let's grab yours. Let's pop that there. Let's pop that in there. An appetizer. I should be able to take your order and get you yours. I know you're waiting on more. Alright, cool. I was able to get both of those in then. Just gotta keep cranky pants up here happy. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid they realise that there's like other things that they can ask for. Like a side, for instance. Look, one of you guys are going to take this plate and I will either put it down or I will throw it at the table. There's no in-between. Grab your order. You want a side? Alright, hold on. Now, I think this is yours. Now, this lot should be almost ready. Perfect timing. That was nice. That was real nice. I could not do that shit again if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm not... I'm getting better at this, I will admit. I am getting better. But I am not that good. Get that dessert in. Apparently you can do a dessert, but not a main at the same time. Yeah, I know you're waiting on other orders. The way that she like barks that at me, I really don't appreciate. Get your dessert out. Alright, and you guys can keep making stuff. Yeah, I know you want a dessert. Give me that. I wish I could carry two things at once, but for some reason I must wobble some... Uh, what you call it? I must wobble wine at people for some reason. I don't get it either. But fancy restaurants. Look, whenever you go to a fancy restaurant, all I know is that usually there's a specific person whose entire job is to wobble wine glasses at you. Like, <laughs> can you imagine? You go to a really, really fancy restaurant and they just like shake plates <laughs> and wine glasses at you. Oh god. <laughs> that is too funny. Anywho. So yeah. Um, there's normally like one person whose entire job is to like service a restaurant for like drinks and or like another person for like making sure that like other shit's done. Um, normally in like the really high end stuff. I've been to like probably one or two places at least. They're not going to be like anything as high up as some of the people that can just afford to eat at places like all the time. Like this would be something that would be ultra special. That's what I'm talking about. Like a one-off situation. But yeah. I don't know. It just seems weird that the waiter would also be wobbling the wine around. Alright, that's all your sides. Now, 
one other thing I do want to check on too, once I get the order in, is I want to go have a look in that peephole. Um, when you're fucking done, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know you want a dessert, just don't take all year. God damn, could you imagine if the waiter was just like that? Let's have a look in here. Is he staring at me? No. Thank God. That was so bad when he was. I think it was like day 70. Just sits there and stares at you. It gets creepy, you know. I wish I could take away their like multiple plates, but it actually helps me know what they're waiting on. So I count the plates. So at the moment they've all got three, which means that we're doing desserts. Once they've got their fourth plate, I'll know that they've got everything. All right, let's get you your dessert. And last one. And then I can go wait near the counter. And honestly, if I had an extra second, I don't want to miss them like paying. That's the only problem is I kind of want to go empty the bin, but I can't do that right now. Um, all right, there we go. 800, cool. So let's see what I got when I went home. I still got given a rat. Sorry, I got given a strawberry shortcake. My eyes are deceiving me. I don't know. I should probably put my glasses on. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe I still got given the rat. So what you get given doesn't matter depending on how you play. Cause last time there was a rat in the kitchen where Vince was standing and I played with it. I gave it cheese and he served it to me that night. It was really disturbing. I also, if that's the case, if nothing else has really changed, a horse, well, it's a bike, but you treat it like it's a horse every time you go to work with it. Um, that looks like a crib. What's that crab dancing with all the plates? I know, right? I have the same thing. Let's reheat the leftovers. I end up burning them. It's just stick to take out or something. Yeah, Got all the stuff in here is burnt. Like last time I'm ever making cereal. I don't know how talented this guy is with his cooking. Old newspapers, a section of missing persons listing. I also feel like he's a little crab kind of wobbling around and stuff. I don't mind it though, I think it's cute. Have a look at the catalogue. I'm up to 900. Holy shit. We're not that far off. I'm about $400 away from this. And then I can afford my matches. And what are we up to? We're on day four. I might be able to afford them. Maybe. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So, if that's the case, is that tasty overcooked food? Look, if <laughs> this is what I have a choice of, right? This is what I'm reheating, right? I've got a choice of a beautiful um, lemon meringue pie, which actually looks really nice. I actually quite like lemon meringue pie myself, so that was a nice treat. We have what I have to assume is some kind of a sandwich that's rotted and as far as we can tell we've got mold on the bread and all sorts of stuff. I can't zoom in for it. Uh, we've got a gutted rat, sorry strawberry cheesecake obviously. Um, we've got a blueberry crepe. I think these were like uh, spring onion um, garlic rolls I think. They look all right. What's that rat all the way? Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm sure that would heat up all right. And it doesn't look too good now, but you know, a little bit of heat like to it. We got shit tons of beer. Um, and like, then we got the noodles and stuff. So my only thing is I feel like I'm missing possibly three dishes in here. And when I got up to day seven last time, I quit. So I'm curious what's going to happen this time. So let's get our save on. Um, I will look out the window. I wasn't going to do it because I didn't see any changes last time, but I'm wondering if there's a thing to it. Oh, fuck. I didn't save. Well, damn. I did not save. Why can't I try to move? <laughs> no, I can't move. Body. That's different. Last time he was getting eaten, he wasn't in packaging. He wasn't food. I guess he just sees himself as food. Have some of my drink there. Alright. So, what is this? Day five. Okay. 
I'm still gonna have my tip jar on because I think I can maybe pull together 400 if I try. I'll tell you what, if I didn't remember that I could sprint during shifts, I probably wouldn't have gotten this far. Like this is helping a lot. Okay, appetizer, main menu, side and dessert. All right. So we have, I'm not sure what the fuck the first one is. I like legitimately don't know. The second one does kind of look like it could be a mushroom or meat or something. Third one is clearly a carrot. Um, the fourth one is clearly also a little tub of like tomato sauce, obviously. That's dessert. All right, so before you cunts get in here, I'm gonna go talk to Vince. Also, can I empty the trash? No, oh, somebody got in. Hey, mate. Hey, Vince. Hi, Ro- Jesus, you look terrible. Did you get any sleep last night? I had a nightmare. Yeah, I can tell. Did you need to ask me something? Let's see, what are you reading? Can I have a break? You got a favorite food. Interesting. I'm gonna ask him all these because I never asked him on day five. I never came in here to talk to him on day five. I do want to know what he's reading, but let's start with his food. Not really, no. You know what's also interesting is he's not out the back smoking like last time. Last time, a lot of the time when I wanted to talk to him, he was actually outside the back smoking. That sounds pretty non-committal. Well, there's not much that I can really pick from. That's not an answer. Then I guess lemons. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I did have this conversation with them. I also like lemons. Like lemon pie and lemon tarts? Maybe that's what maybe that's what changes his mind to make a lemon meringue pie. No, just lemons. Yeah, lemons are pretty bomb. How can you stand just eating raw lemons? Aren't they sour? If you add salt, they become amazing. I wouldn't know. I don't have any sense of taste. I guess he likes the texture then. Yeah, I could see the decorations out there. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> no, I lost my ability to taste food when I was younger. I still want to know how he lost that. Whoa, what, really? No wonder your food tastes like that. You must be a miserable cook. What's wrong with my cooking? <laughs> this is probably why he doesn't actually cook. Come to think of it. Um, nothing, sir. What about you? What's your favorite food? Do I have to pick just one? That sounds pretty non-committal. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess I eat whatever my girlfriend's into. Wait, did he say last time he had a girlfriend? Because I don't remember that. That's also not an answer. It's still better than lemons. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I like this guy. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to ask you other questions. Can I have... I want to ask that in a moment, but wait. What are you reading? Restaurant reviews. What does it say? Does it mention me? They didn't mention you, no. Wait a minute. Didn't they... I believe that the restaurant reviews did mention him. I'm pretty sure they did, and he's lying. Oh, damn. They don't appreciate good service. Guess not. That's, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I, I still want to ask, can I have a break? I'm getting kind of tired. Why did you not have anything for lunch? It's more so because of the... Never mind. Um, I... No. I, I didn't. I couldn't afford to bring anything. Mm, I suppose I could let you eat the leftovers of patrons that didn't finish their meals after all. That's kind of nice, kind of gross, but, you know, no, no fucking pickies choosies. Really? You're being serious? Sure am. Whoa, fuck, that's a change? But you better enjoy those meals more than those sense customers did and appreciate the table scraps I'm bothering to feed you. Holy fucking unhinged cunt ever. Jesus Christ. Fucking somebody needs to slap this man. Once your shift's over, all these dishes better be licked fucking spotless. Or all of these meals are coming out of your paycheck, right? Jesus. What the fuck snapped in this guy? I, sir. 
Jesus Christ, let me out of here. <laughs> let me get out of that kitchen. Hey, don't even ask about the chef. <laughs> I'll get your table soon. This is a slap on with a big fish. I'm going to look in the hole and see if he's looking at me now. He's not, thank God. Oh, you know what? When you say that, there is a... I have some kind of fucking drawn picture of like this anime character who's managed to catch a giant fish between her tits. I'm not even sure why, but I found it hilarious when I was younger. <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't even know where I found that. This is the best part about like the fucking 18 plus stream is I can tell you guys about the weird shit. I haven't seated the guy, hold on. Let's get you an appetizer. I think he was a table for one. Nope, he ain't. Are you a table for two? No. Nope. Are you a table for four? Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, he's a table for four. I did not read what he wanted. <laughs> is it you're down? Look, it's a skill, I'm sure of it. Hi. Table for two. Look, I'll put you somewhere. Let's sit you there. Let's get you guys. No, I don't want to come back order. I want their order now. And I can't take theirs just yet, but I can take yours. I can main. I think main and appetizer go together. Is that a main? I think that's this table down here's maybe. Nope. It must be yours. Yeah, take your fucking meal. Jesus. Take your main. That's going to fuck up that whole table system. I can't ask these two just yet. You take that. I know you're waiting on orders. Take theirs. You want an appetizer and so do you. And so do you, I'm sure. You probably want something too. Let's get that in there. Let me grab the appetizer. I can grab your order while I'm running around. Now I think that's yours. Yep, I thought so. Alright, hold on. Get that in there and I think this is the table down the bottom. I don't think I've asked these two in the middle. Have I asked you to? Yeah, I think I have. Hold on. I think that's yours. Let me grab that. Put that in there. Alright, got them. Now, I don't know if I've got all the ones down the bottom. I'm not entirely sure. Got an appetizer? For sure I did. Oh, they fucked off. Alright, well now I've got to hope you guys... Yes, alright. Lucky... Super lucky. I have an extra appetizer that I don't need. That's a that's a problem because I know that he goes absolutely psycho with that. Now, who's is this? What is this? Is this an appetizer? This is totally an appetizer. Take that order with like a main. Cool. You know what? While you do that, I'm just going to go throw this in the bin. I'm pretty sure I can. No? Oh, no. Don't leave me with the fucking thing. Oh, my God. All right. Can I pick up the table? No. I am stuck. And I didn't save it yesterday. This is brilliant. So because those fucking cunts left, I can't, like, empty my hands. I need to put shit in the trash. Yes. Throw it away. Right. Look, I'll eat it out of the bin later if I've got to. Who's this? Is this is a dessert. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo today. And thank you for putting something in my hands that I now also have to go and throw away. Throw it away. Fucking wasting time. Alright, let's get that on. That just put a dessert through, which I don't need yet. Got a main. Look, I'll be lucky if this lot don't leave. I'm definitely not getting the um, thousand do fucking dollars um, thingo today. Yeah, I know you're waiting on more orders. Let's clean up that. Trash is full. Look, it is. It really is. I there's nothing I could do. I had to throw two whole plates in there, so I can't I can't throw in the other plates. Um, let's grab that. That'll get you your last main. Now, there we go. Now, if you just sit there for a fucking second, and I can take this out. Yes, take the trash out. I'm gonna probably lose one customer. No cats today, and no dog. Interesting. Alright, I love the fact that there's no fucking kitchen hygiene. Like, I don't even wash my hands. I come back to serve them. Like, come on. Yeah, clean that up. You guys are going to take forever. I will see if I can clean that up. There we go. Now it's nice and clean so you guys can't bitch that I haven't cleaned stuff. Now, this is for side. So I've got to try not to take the little sauce cuppy thingy. So, take that. Why put it right beside it, though? Come on. There we go. Okay, you guys are like legitimately my only table and I really need just to work. I need to get like some good dosh off you guys. 
because I've got like somehow I've got 350. I don't know how that works. Um, I don't think anybody paid me to leave. I think everybody just kind of like had a shit time and left. Yeah, I know you're waiting on more stuff. I'll tell you what, I've already got a dessert up there ready and waiting. So you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna pull a sneaky, grab this, give you guys excellent service for when you're ready. Yeah? When you're ready, I'm just gonna hand you straight up one dessert. Um, there we go. Come on, come on, let me, let me take your motherfucking order. Yeah. I know that you're waiting on more. Like, I'm gonna have like three spare meals for this. Um, see, I refer to them as, uh, boobs, honestly, Boba. I always find it weird when it's like, they're referred to as Boba. Because I'm like, I just think it's a drink. There is boobs of boobs, you know? But then again, I don't know what Autobot fucking pulls up either. Because, like, funny thing is, even though I'm on, like, 18 plus stream, I still have, like, all my, uh, what do you call it? Oh, my filters and shit on. That's all of your meals. So I'm going to go stand here. Now, I'm not going to get paid, like, stupidly high for this. Because I only got one table out today. But it's fucking better than nothing. Got 800 from them. So I didn't get quite enough. Now, my only other thing, too, is... Let me go have a look in here. Okay, so there's nothing going on there, and where is it? this? Is the freezer right? No, it seems to be coming from the freezer. Yeah, they they sound like there's a chop chop going on in there. Now I don't actually have to fuck around with everything, but I did wonder if there was anything I could move over here. Newspaper clippings of the restaurant review from a few years ago. So for one, they positive, and the critic seems excited for the future of the bistro. All right, there's a mirror. Put your picture of a man and a woman. The woman looks shockingly similar to to Vince. Maybe his mother. The frames gathered a large amount of dust. Uh, this week's newspaper. Oh, there's a review of the bistro. There's a lengthy description of the food, and Vince's are noted with notes and recipe alterations in response to. This week's menu showed promise, however, I couldn't say the same for the service. The staff that had been waiting on my table had been incredibly unprofessional and brass. Uh, while this may have been one of the once off incident, it was surprising as I'm accustomed to Le Grill de Statunes, uh staff being more than professional. And I fear it may show a slip in the taste of refinement from the hiring process the bistro is known for. Vince seems to have scribbled out the entirety of the notes about the waiter. <coughs> so, yeah, he 100% he lied. I was budgeting out all the employees' paychecks. His ran, handwriting is awful. All right, now I know I've got to get this thing. Ash can. What the? So this is... <coughs> Sorry. Let's fucking cough in everybody's ears. This is a picture that we took and, like, dialed last time. So, there seems to be crumpled up love letters, ending notes. Was it endearing notes thrown into trash as well? All of them are signed with an M. Isn't his girlfriend Manon? Oh man, can you imagine if she's fucking cheating this whole time or two timing him? Yeah, so what I didn't notice last time was this stuff here is actually mold. I don't know how I didn't see that. I was thinking along here. That's what I was. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Everybody was talking about, but apparently it's along here. You guys are talking about there was mold on it, and obviously it's been out for a while because yeah, earned a croquet, madame. All right. Um. So I still got that, and that still to me shows that he's kind of unhinged. Now today I really need to save. Let's have a look at the calendar thing. Damn it! I'm like a hundred. I'm two hundred dollars short. If I had got another table, maybe I would have got a bit more. Um, I should be okay though. I've got one more day to try and get the matches. I've got everything else in this book so far. Okay. So I'm not going to try to heat up or anything. I just need to focus on saving. Okay. So this is now day, what is it? Day five? 
I'm okay with saving over this so far because there's nothing much I could do. I might as well have a drink of my drink. Hold on. Okay. Now, there's nothing else I can do. And yes, I am like trying to use a little bit of a guide to help me because otherwise what I ended up doing last time is I just played through the entire game. Like I thought that like I was making options and stuff myself, but the game actually guides you into a specific ending. But where am I? Why can't I can't see anything. What? Wait, I didn't click anything. Oh, it's in the microwave. Oven? Maybe? So he's fucking like, I don't know why he's having so many visions of him being like food. But yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so at this point in the service, I had a lot of trouble with patience with them, but there's not much I can do. Okay. So we have a loaf of bread as an appetizer. Clearly a dick for a main. Uh, I assume some matchsticks for a side. And I am not sure, some bloody diarrhea or something like that for dessert. That's what that looks like. Let's see. Cool. So let's see if I can get up in here. Now, I don't know... Yeah, one of the chefs are gone and he's outside. Hold on. Is he outside? What do you get served? It's locked. This be a bistro's freezer. Locked. Cigarette smoke is wafting from under the door. Cool. Before that, let me go outside. Yeah, so he's definitely not out here. So he's definitely in his room, which means it's probably the day where he's like staring at me. Table for two. Look, I'll try, love. Let's get you up here. Yeah, seat them. Let's go look at him staring at me. Yeah, fucking knew it. Like, how does he not react to that, though? Like, how does he not react? Like, he sees me looking at him. Shouldn't he, like, you know, move away from the door or something? I don't know. It is weird. Table for one. Sure, let's try. Uh, let's get the other dish in. Grab that. Got an appetizer. Let's slap that down there. Grab yours. Now, I don't know how many people I can actually handle on this day, but I'm gonna fucking try. Yeah, got your appetizer. And there we go. Oh, another one. I don't know if I can actually do anything for you, but let's put you in here. Honestly, I'm hoping for like two seat. Two seats and two people. All right, hold on. Now, I think main and appetizer go together. I think I can put their orders together. Whoever just walked in can fuck right off. Oh, it's the silver haired lady. Yeah, she can fuck off. All right, yeah, I could get a couple at a time. You also want a May. All right, there's one dick out. Come on. Hurry up. All right, I think you're an appetizer. Yep, 